All right, well, in Tennessee, a judge under fire for illegally jailing black kids for watching a fight back in 2016. The alleged crime, listen to this, criminal responsibility of conduct of another. One of the problems, that's a fake law. News Nation's Gerald Harris at our national station WKRN is live. So, Gerald, the judge just made up this law. Yeah, Nicole, in 2016, lawmakers actually called for a federal investigation into the arrest and detainment of black elementary school students in Rutherford County. And now there's a renewed focus on the judge responsible for this jailing of those kids. There has to be something done to everyone who was involved in this. Donna Scott Davenport, the sole Rutherford County juvenile judge, is facing renewed scrutiny over a filter system, which allowed jail staff to determine when a child is released. It's my understanding that they created a law that wasn't even on the books in order to make that happen. According to a report from WPLN and ProPublica, Judge Davenport instituted a policy that all children charged with crimes be processed at the detention center. In 2016, 11 elementary school children were detained and or locked up after allegedly witnessing a fight between a five and six year old. That is horrible abuse of power. And I can't imagine, I mean, we have the administrative office of the courts. I believe they should take action and investigate. The alleged crime, criminal responsibility for conduct of another, a fake law. You can't make up the law. James McCarroll Jr. is the senior pastor of First Baptist Murfreesboro. His church held the first community meeting following the arrest in 2016. He says there cannot be two systems of justice. We have a responsibility to all of our citizens, to give them a system that looks out for them, that allows them to not only have a constitutional right, but to have people who are assigned to carry out that constitutional right, who have hearts to really make sure that people are in the best state and space that their lives can have. Multiple Rutherford County commissioners say because of pending litigation, they cannot comment. In 2014, 48% of children were jailed under Judge Davenport's watch. The statewide average at the time was 5%. We are letting kids fall through the cracks in all different ways. And this is just one more way we have discovered where DCS has dropped the ball. And they need to be looking closely at uh, these programs to make sure that they are following our laws. And in a settled lawsuit in 2017, Rutherford County agreed to pay each of the 11 children nearly $400,000, Nicole.